Australia's visa system can be very confusing. Long words, acronyms, complicated terminology. Let's try to simplify things. Australia has over 70 visas, but pretty much all of these belong to one of six visa groups. Visitor, student, work, family, refugee or other. Most people arrive on a visitor visa. The big drawback is that these usually don't come with a work permit. But there are exceptions. The most popular being a working holiday visa. The next big group is student visas. There are over 600,000 international students in Australia. The big thing about a student visa is that it allows you to work part time. Visitor and student visas are relatively easy to get. The problem starts when you either want to stay or work longer. This is where you'll need a work visa. There are almost 30 different work visas in Australia. All of them are skills based, so you'll need a specific skill, enough experience, and in some cases, sufficient assets to qualify. You can apply with or without a sponsor, but things are usually a lot easier when you have one. And the last big group is family visas. There are over 20 different family visas. Family visas sound simple, but are the most cumbersome to document and apply for. These are the four main visa groups. And then you have refugee and humanitarian visas, which is a huge topic in itself. And lastly, there's the other visa group, which mainly consists of bridging visas. This is Australia's visa system in a nutshell. The devils are in the details, and unfortunately, the details are constantly changing. So make sure to check the official website. Have a great start in Australia, and I'll see you next video.